God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of you, even those that are at home watching via Hallelujah. Facebook Live. You're on you're at home. You're sitting on your couch. We want you to enjoy God's presence. Amen. Even on this morning. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. We're going to ask our very own Deacon Gould to come take us higher very quickly here in a word of prayer. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we go through the throne of grace. Anyone that's on a special prayer request, raise your hand that I may acknowledge you. Want to remember the ones that was on the prayer list? The Cruz family, his father, a bishop. Davis out of Brooklyn, New York. We lost one of the church members due to the virus. Uh, Sister Manny, uh, surgery. Deacon Cruz, family member. Deacon uh, Cunningham, family member. And with Brother Jacob, who normally would attend service with us today, is not feeling well. Amen. And Sister Rosemary. Amen. We want to continue to pray for our service, pray for the speaker of, of the hour. We want to pray for the church as a whole. Let us pray. Most gracious Father, we come to you today, Father God, thanking you for everything you've done, Father God. Father God, you heard the prayer request presented before you, Father God. Father God, nothing is too hard for you. Someone here has received a bad report from the Lord, but Father God, we're going to believe the report of the Lord. Father God, we know what the doctors say, but Father God, we know that you have a final say so. Father God, we will continue to pray for the ones that are sick and shut in, but not only heal them and make them whole from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Father God. Father God, I want to continue to pray for the ones that are on their way. Have your angels count all about them, provide them with time and mercy, because we know that you are way maker. You are promise keeper. Father God, you said that two or three gathered in your name, you'll be in the midst, Father God. Someone here is uh, faith is failing, Father God. You said without faith it's impossible to please the Lord. Father God, no matter what the outcome may look, Father God, we're going to continue to praise you. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise you enough. It's not what you didn't do, but what you can do. Yes. Father God, you cannot fail. Yes. You cannot lie. Yes. We're going to continue to give you the praise, Father God. Father God, we know that the virus is nothing but a test, Father God. Father God, nothing but trials and tribulations. Yes. But Father God, regardless of what the outcome is, Father God, you said that our thoughts are not your thoughts, and that our ways are not your ways. We're going to continue to praise you. One day, Father God, we'll be reunited at all in this church, Father God. We want to continue to give you the glory, the honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Deacon. Put your hands together for that awesome prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. While you remain on your feet, we'll ask you to grab the Bibles, and we'll have Lady Brown come up and bring us higher in Scripture. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise, the, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you would turn with me in your Bibles to 145, Psalms 145. Psalms. And we will, Psalms 145, and we will read it responsibly. 1 through 10. This is what we need to do unto the Lord on today. Hallelujah. Thank him for his word. Hallelujah. Psalms 145. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. One, One generation shall praise our works to another, and shall pray our mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible act, and I will declare thy greatness. Thy shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, 
and his tender mercies are over all his works. And together, all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. And we shall bless him on today. Hallelujah. Thank God for reading of his word, Psalm 145. And just some takeaways of this scripture is that he is always, he never, he sustains us who fall. He is always righteous. His ways are kind and his deeds. We serve an awesome God. Give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Come on, come on. Put those hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to press this morning. Amen. We're going to press this morning. The Bible says, so let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So right now, get your mind right this morning. Amen. Amen. Come on. Get, come on. Come on. Put those hands together. We're going to pray and pray. Up here, it says, welcome to praise temple. Come on. Come on. We're going to pray this morning. We're going to give God his glory this morning. Come on. We're going to push past everything that's going on. The COVID thing is there. We know what's happening out here in the world. Glory to God. But people are dying for other things. Hallelujah. Glory to God, we thank you this morning, Lord, for you have woke us up this morning, Lord. You continue to blow breath on us this morning. God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for who you are this morning. Yes, yes, we gonna press, we gonna press, we gonna press. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Come on and shout glory. Glory. We love you this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. We're not worried about the numbers that's in the house. Hallelujah. You can't make me die in my 
Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. God is so good, church. I said, God is so good. I don't know, praise God, but I just feel like praising him today. Amen. In spite of what's going on, I'm going to give God the praise. I'm going to give him the glory and do his day. Anybody believe he, he deserves all the glory? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Anybody yeah. believe he deserves all the honor and all the praise? Yeah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I could sing that song, I would sing, you deserve it, but I ain't going to sing yeah, it. Yes. But the Lord deserves all the honor, yeah. all the glory, and all the praise. Yeah, yeah. While you're standing, we're going to look at the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Anybody feel like today? I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Let's say that one more time. I'm free. Anybody glad to be free? Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. Let your soul rest this morning. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. Yes, sir. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. Yes, it's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free. Be like free today. Hallelujah. Mm, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. That's all right. That's all right. Give us a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, look at your lips. Bless him right there. I'm free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm free. Hallelujah. I want to be bound to those things that used to have me locked up, tied up, tangled up. Hallelujah. Praise God. My soul is resting this morning. Hallelujah. I said my soul is resting. I'm glad someone's soul is rested. I don't know what it is in my spirit, but praise God. Someone needs to hear this word. You need to rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. You need to rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Yes. Someone say rest in the Lord. Let's say rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Confess it over your own life. I'm going to rest in the Lord. Mm. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your goodness today, Lord. We thank you, God, for the power and presence you fill in this place. Oh, God, give us the strength to move on and carry on in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 Somebody say amen. amen. Today, church, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We stand a little to familiar part of scripture, and on today, we're going to Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. And we may actually have a couple of scriptures, but we're going to stick right here. But I'll, someone say, Lord, reveal you to me. Lord, reveal you to me. Reveal you to me. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, if you have it, let us say, Amen. Amen. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer you. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, for your goodness. Thank you for all you're doing in our house, oh God. Lord, we come against every stronghold. We break every stronghold. We loose every chain. We bind every spirit that's not like you in the name of Jesus. But Lord, let the praise of God people go forth. Lord, whatever's in hearts and minds and spirits, Lord, we speak a word of anointing, O oh God, over them. Because the Bible says that the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Lord, break every yoke, loose every feather in people's minds, hearts, and spirits. And Father, I'm going to give you praise, God. Liberate the praise. You said where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 
Lord, let the liberty of your praises go forth among the people of God. Lord, let someone must up the strength and shout hallelujah and give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, call unto me and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things with thou. No, it's not. Jeremiah, today, out of the book of Jeremiah, we want to get to try a chance to try to ask God to reveal himself unto us. Amen? Amen. What does it mean, praise God, to reveal ourselves unto me, Lord? Lord, I need you to show me what is going on right now and right here and in a hurry. Amen. The time that we're living in, you know, the word of God, amen, is, praise God, are the same from generation to generation. <coughs> Excuse me. But the word of God also addresses the current situations that we face right now. Amen. amen. The word of God looks at what is going on. Amen. And we have to take the word of God into our hearts and minds because the most important thing that people don't know what's going on right now is they don't know what's coming next. Amen. 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 Praise God. But the word of God, I want to speak a promise. And one of, this is a promise of God. Amen. Amen. If you already got this written down and put in your scriptural arsenal, you need to add this to your scriptural arsenal. Jeremiah 33 and 3. The Bible says, call to me and I will answer. Amen. And I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Everything, there are two qualities in the scripture that pertain directly to God, great and mighty. Amen. Amen. When God begins to reveal things unto you, everything that he reveals unto you is great and it is mighty. Amen. amen. Because this, be, this is a quality or attribute of God, amen, that God can't do nothing but great stuff. Amen. amen. God is nothing but mighty in what he does. So when God, no matter how small or seemingly small it is to you, amen, to the qualities and the nature of who God is, it's a great thing because, amen, God does not have to show us nothing. Amen. God does not have to reveal himself unto us in any way, shape, or form, amen, but by his mercy and his grace, he decides, amen, to speak to the children of God, amen, to let them know what's going on. Can we say amen? amen. Church, this is the time, praise the Lord, amen, for us where we need to call on the Lord like never before. Amen. amen. We, it is time for us, amen, to wherever we are, praise God, in God. Amen. No matter where we are in the things of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. The Lord is challenging us, amen, to come up a little bit higher in him. The Lord is challenging us, praise the Lord, to go a little bit further in him. The Lord is challenging us, amen, to go, amen, a little bit deeper in him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And it doesn't matter. I really want you to understand, praise the Lord, where you at and what's going on. Amen. It's time for you to step up to the plate and swing. Amen. Hallelujah. At the things that God is sending your way. Amen. And you know sooner or later you want to make a hit. Praise God. Too many times, amen, when God sends things your way, you just struck out. Amen. Praise God. But this time God is going to get you to be able to reveal how that ball is moving. Amen. Praise God in order to hit it out of the park. Somebody say amen. Amen. You know, when a pitcher stands and throws the ball, the pitcher's job is to deceive the batter. Amen. The Bible, amen, declares, praise God, that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but he that what? Endure to the end. Praise God. Amen. There has to be some endurance in your life. There has to be some endurance in the life that you live for God. Amen. Just like the batter has to get up there and be patient when the pitcher throws the pitch, praise the Lord. Amen. He knows, amen, he got to be able to know what to look for. They, they say that it takes it's just a split second before he decides if he's going to swing or not by the time the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. Amen. Praise God. But I'm here today to let you know that God's going to show you, amen, what you need to see in order for you to be successful in these next few times, next few months, in the next few years, what God has for you. Amen. God's going to open up the revelation window. Amen. And begin to pour out, amen, understanding, revelation, knowledge. Praise God. Amen. But you've got to be able to walk in the knowledge of God that he's given you. Praise the Lord. Amen. When the prophet of God comes to the king, or came to the people and spoke to the people, they could not see what the prophet could see. Right. Amen. But sooner or later, it came to pass. Amen. And those who listened to the prophet, amen, were able to, amen, be prosperous by the hand of the prophet. Amen. Noah, praise the Lord, was a prophetic man, praise the Lord. He told him that it's going to rain. Amen. You might as well go ahead and get yourself together because God's going to send the rain. Though it never rained before, 
praise God, but we don't want to be on the outside of the ark when it starts to rain. We want to be in the ark, praise God. We're in the ark of safety, church. Let me tell you something right now. The Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the last day. All kind of stuff is raining down on this earth right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's wars and rumors of wars. Amen. Places are on fire. Amen. Places are being turned over by hurricanes. Amen. Amen. The ocean is rising. Amen. All these things are going on. Praise God. But these are nothing but the signs of the times we live in. Amen. We got to ask God. God, hallelujah, Lord. I need to call on you that you may show me what I need to see. Can we say amen? Amen. The Lord, praise God. Jesus picks up the same concept. Amen. He says, now be it when he that the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. Right? For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Amen. Church of the living God. Amen. There is a place, amen, when I begin to call on God, God will send me to a place, hallelujah, where I'm walking right beside him. Amen. amen. The Bible has promised that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. The word of God has promised, amen, that there's a friend that's thinking closer than any brother. His name is Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. But the thing that God wants to do is like when he showed up, remember God showed up at Abram's tent, and the Bible that God told Abraham, am I going to withhold the thing that I'm going to do, amen, before Abraham, before he destroyed Sodom, before he took out Gomorrah, he sat at the tent of Abram, amen, and showed Abram what was going to happen, amen, and this is where, amen, before, amen, pride, before destruction comes, warning always comes, amen, amen. praise God, I don't know if you want to take this as a warning or not, but amen, the Bible says, hallelujah, that you got to make your calling and election for sure today, yeah, yeah, praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. You got to make sure that righteousness reigns in your life. Huh? Yeah. You got to make sure sanctification is, amen, is on your block and in your house. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You got to make sure holiness is an attribute, yeah. amen, that you live in today. Yeah. Because the Bible says, hallelujah, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Anybody pray on seeing God today? Yeah. Amen. I want to see God in his glory yeah. and, yeah. and in his fullness, praise the Lord. Yeah. But that means I got to be holy. Yeah. I got to be righteous. Yeah. I got to set myself apart. I got to know how to, I got to know how to, yeah. I said, I got, I said, I got to know how to lay aside every weight yeah. and the sin. You know what you like and you know what you don't like, praise yeah. God. And you know when you go the wrong way, hallelujah, go to the wrong thing and, and God is saying, I will behold, I can, you got the Holy Ghost. And he says, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power. Yeah. Amen. Not to do that yeah. stuff. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Because I'm trying to see his face in peace. Anybody trying to see God's face in peace? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and, and give God praise. We got to draw closer to him. Yes, yes, yes. Man. We got to break down every barrier of our heart. We got to ask God, show me, Lord, what is in here that, that's holding yeah. me back. Show me, Lord, what's keeping me from the things of you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That is a quiet and silent prayer that all of us have to pray. Amen. That we be able to seek the Lord while he may be found. Uh, call upon him while he is near. Amen. Praise God. The Bible declares that Jesus, amen, is speaking, amen, of the truths of God. He's speaking, praise God, that God will give you, amen, a notice, a warning before something Goes on. Have you? I know I got some people in the house of God today, and you know when something's getting ready to happen, you feel a little funny down on the inside. Amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Praise God. Amen. God is giving you the spirit of understanding and discernment about something ain't right going on right now. Praise the Lord. But what has happened is that so much stuff is going wrong right now. Praise the Lord. And it just seems like in our spirit we're getting bombarded with all kinds of messages. But that is nothing but a trick of the devil. Amen. Because he wants you out in the left field, out of focus with the things of God. But all you got to do, praise God, hallelujah, is get focused back on the power of God's word and the power of his presence. And God will let you see through the clutter that's trying to fill our hearts and our minds. Amen. And be able to see him clearly. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You may be able to do what you need to do in this current age for your family, for your home, for your finances, yeah. for your church, that we're going to see our way through. Don't you know, church, that he promised, he said, yeah, you know, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're in the valley of the shadow of death right now. Yeah. Praise God. But we have to know, praise God, we got to keep our eyes on the Lord. Yeah. We 
We got to draw close to him like never before. We got to tear, lay aside, and break open like he said last year. I'm going to get to it in a moment. We got to let that thing go. Amen. Open up our heart and, let, and just fillet ourselves and lay open before God that God may be able to work a spiritual surgery, amen, in our hearts. Uh, God wants to show us some deep things. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says, behold, I show you a mystery. Amen. amen. What is the greatest mystery of who God is? Uh, great is the mystery of godliness. Uh, God was manifested in the flesh. Uh, God was preached unto the Gentiles. Uh, God did sleep in the grave. Uh, God was received up into the glory. Uh, God, this is a mystery. Uh, but he showed you the mystery. Uh, how do I know he showed you the mystery? Uh, anybody been baptized in Jesus' name in the house of God? Uh, anybody been filled with the Holy Ghost? Uh, that's how you know you got the mystery of God. Because uh, you you responded to the word of God uh, because it didn't make sense to your friends. Uh, it didn't make sense to your family. Uh, but God opened up to you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the deep things of God. And the next day you know, uh, you going down in Jesus' name. Uh, and the next day you know, uh, you're speaking in another language. Uh, and the spirit of God came to others. Uh, that's how you know you got the mystery of God. That's a mystery. I don't have God saves folks, but he saves people. Amen. He takes the amen from away from the gutter most and saves them to the other most. Yeah. Does he still do that in 2020? Yeah. Are you telling me God still saved in 2020? Yeah. Yeah. He still saved in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. We were in 1990 where I got the Holy Ghost. Did God still save in 1990? Yeah, he still saved in 1990. Yeah. Hallelujah. He still saved in 2000. Yeah. He still saved in 2010. He still saved in 2020. Yeah. And, he, and God's going to say till he comes back. <laughs> because hallelujah, the Bible declared it is not God desired that no man perish, but that everyone come to a man repentant. Hey Amen. This is the mystery that he has. He says in a moment, in a twin of eye, at the last trump, church of living God, hallelujah, this mic on, we might be at the last trump. I'll let you read in that what you want to put in there. Praise God, but we don't know what's going to happen. But praise the Lord, he says right there in the word, at the last trump, when the trumpet shall sound, hallelujah, the dead shall rise in the trouble, and we're going to be changed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! I'm looking for a change. Yeah. Anybody else looking for a change? Yeah. I'm looking to praise God and know the mysteries of God. <laughs> I need the Lord to reveal me, reveal, reveal himself unto me like never before. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, people think that when God wants to reveal himself to you, <laughs> that God will show you some mystical, spooky stuff. <laughs> they don't really know mystical, spooky stuff. <laughs> but the Bible says in my father's house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. He says, behold, <laughs> I go to prepare a place for you. <laughs> and where I'm at, <laughs> there ye shall be also. <laughs> it says in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> There's fullness of joy. <laughs> And that is right here. Pleasure forevermore. Hallelujah. You don't know what pleasure is till you get the Holy Ghost. You don't know what the pleasure is till you get to the presence of God. God has promised us. Hallelujah. That when He reveals some things unto us, it may not always be what we want to hear, but it's always for our good. That's why Paul wrote to put a pen to paper. They did a this we know that all things work together for the good. A that love God. A that are called. According to his purpose. Huh? Anybody called according to his purpose today? Huh? Anybody know they got Jesus on the main line? Huh? You better call them up huh? and tell them what you want. Huh? Come on, clap your hands up and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. In order for us to see God. Oh, yeah, there it is. Praise God. The deep things. Someone say deep things. I need to see some deep stuff. Because what happens is, if I see some deep stuff, he's going to build me a house, this spiritual house, on a firm foundation. Hallelujah. The waves are rolling. The wind is blowing. Hallelujah. Stuff is on fire. And they are rocking and rolling, but my hope is built on nothing less than His blood and His righteousness. Come on, somebody! I dare not trust the sweetest rain, the holy rain on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock. I say, all on the ground, you better hold on to the God. You better hold on. 
symbolism uh, yeah. of what's happening, uh, yeah. of the joy uh, that's happening uh, down on the inside. Uh, I got I draw uh, out of the wells of joy uh, with salvation. Uh, of joy. Uh, I want to pull uh, with joy. Uh, I want to receive uh, with joy. Uh, I want to call on God. Uh, and I want to shout. Uh, joy uh, has nothing to do uh, with what's going on. Uh, on the outside, joy is a fruit of the Spirit of God. So if you ain't got joy, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. But if you got the Holy Ghost, you got some joy. Yeah, I know it's tight, but it's right. Praise God, I got some joy. That's why you got to muster it up. Hot up on sheet. Guess what? Somebody once said, you can't give nothing you ain't got. But guess what? I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says. Hallelujah. I got love. I got joy. I got peace. I got long suffering. I got temperance. I got meekness. I got faith. Against such, there is no law. God is calling us to go a little bit higher in Him. Come on, clap your hands. Give God some praise for going a little bit higher. The first step I find myself is, Lord, I'm distressed. I called to you, but you did what? You delivered me. Hallelujah. From those that tell all the lies about me. Aren't you glad? The first thing God does is deliver you. You ought to get happy right now. Come on, clap those hands. Give God some praise. He said, lift up your eyes unto the hills from which coming your help. Your help coming from the Lord that make it heaven. I'm getting happy already. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to church. Let us get to the house of God. Let us stand in the house of God. Y'all to get happy about what God. I'm getting happy already. Hallelujah. I'm trying to help you go a little bit high underneath that dwelleth in the heavens. God told me to look up. He told me in the next one what I'm going to see when I look up. I'm going to see him high and lift it up and his train fill the temple. He is the God I serve. He's the God I need. He shall supply all my needs according to his riches. In glory. Come on, clap those hands. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh my God. If it had not been for the Lord on my side. How I am on shot? I gotta say it again. If it had not been. I'm going to go high. If it had not been for the Lord on my side. Where would we be? Look at somebody get somebody an air high five. And if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? How oh, yeah. would I do that? I want to be like Mount Zion. Woo. Glory. Amen. Which cannot be removed. Be removed. Yeah. I'm going a little bit higher. God's trying to help somebody today. God's trying to take you up the steps of holy. God's trying to take you up the steps of salvation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, huh? how Jacob said, huh? he saw a stairway to heaven. Huh? God's trying to take up the stairway today. Huh? Yeah. It's time for you to elevate your mind huh? yeah. over all the crap that yeah, I said yeah. huh? and the junk huh? yeah. that's being filtered across the airways. Yeah. Huh? Some of y'all need to throw that cell phone away huh? yeah. at least for a little while because huh? every time you see it, huh? it fills your heart and your mind huh? with the wrong information. Huh? But I looked into the word of God huh? and I I found hope. Uh, I found grace. Uh, I found mercy. Uh, I found deliverance. Uh, anybody know I'm talking about today? Uh, come on, clap those hands. Uh, give God some praise. He promised to turn my captivity. That means God's going to set you free. Look at somebody say, be set free. 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 You're free. 
Hallelujah. He said, praise God. And then you'll fill your mouth with laughter. I'm going to tell you to go out and enjoy yourself today in the church. Amen. I don't care what's going on. Before you get home, before you get back to whatever situation you go to, go do something for yourself. Amen. Do some self-care yeah. in the face of the Holy Ghost. We need that. Do some nice, praise God. Just do something that you enjoy. Hallelujah. If you want to take a drive, take a drive. If you want to take a long way home today, take the long way home today. Do something that you want to do. Because if you don't do it, you're going to miss the joy that you're supposed to have in this life. That's good, bitch. I want to live this life the fullest. Yeah. yeah. I ain't trying to die anytime soon, but if I do die, it's okay. Because right. guess what? I got a new body waiting yeah. on yeah. 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 And guess what? Yeah. If I do stay, guess what? I'm going to live this life to the fullest. Yeah. 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 Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Church being in the house of God and being in the face of God is living the, your life to the fullest. Yes, yeah. sir. Because I got the favor of God in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody got the favor of God in your life? Yeah. Yeah. How you no favor ain't fair? But well, having no favor is mine. Right. Woo! Hallelujah. I said, baby, right. baby, I can't help you why you didn't get a promotion. But I sure know who I am. Why I got me a promotion. Because promotion doesn't come from the east stop or from the west stop. Promotion comes from above. So I know you've been here, but God promoted me. Guess what? Don't count it lightly. Because I serve a God that knows how to bless me. He promised to turn me. He promised to fill my mouth with laughter yeah. and with singing I'm among everybody he's talking about. Right. You gotta learn how to tell the devil, I'm gonna give God praise. God praise. I'm gonna give. God praise. Keep on lying. Yeah. Keep on talking. I'm gonna give yeah. God praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell me I'm scared to talk to the devil like that. I'm gonna talk back to the devil. You yeah. and the, you are the devil and you already defeated. Yeah. You can't hold nothing over me. Yeah. I've been I've been free from the bondage of sin. Yeah. I've been free by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. I've been free from the things yeah. that you try to hold me back with. Yeah. Yeah. Church is free today. Look what else he said, praise God. He said, except the Lord build a house. Mm -hmm. He said, but guess what? You got to promise you're going to build something in your life. Yeah. You got to promise you're going to build something trying to help somebody. Yeah. Praise God, you got to promise you're going to build something. Yeah. He said, look, bless everyone that fear the Lord. Yeah. Uh, now, now, guess what? The blessings are starting to grow. Huh? Yeah. See what happens here. So, when you stand firm, flat-footed on the things of God, yeah. blessings are surely are going to come upon you. Uh, surely the blessings of the Lord uh, are going to come in my life. Huh? The blood of the Lord make it rich uh, yeah. and no sorrow to it. Huh? Yeah. He's trying to help you today. Huh? He said, for thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands, uh, and happy you shall be. Yeah. If you're not happy, there's something wrong with you. Amen. 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 I'm happy. That's right. Amen. And my happiness ties to joy. I have, look, everything ain't going my way. Amen. Everything ain't Amen. going the way that I wanted to go. Amen. But yet, joy and happiness, amen, in my life are walking, walk on and on. Amen. I will say to myself today, I'm going to have a good day. Amen. I'm going to say to myself today, Praise God, the things are going to go my way. I'm going to say to myself today, <coughs> this is the day that the Lord yeah. has made. Yeah. Hallelujah. Guess what? The word half is past tense, right? That means God already made this day in eternity. Yeah. Come on. It was just waiting for his time to catch up, to manifest itself. Yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We will be glad, Amen. present tense. And what? Rejoice. Present tense. In what? It. Praise God. Hallelujah. Church of the living God. Amen. We got to look at the modification of the verb, of the noun by the verb. What is it? It is the, is the object of the sentence. Who is it? You it. Somebody say, I'm it. Guess what it's supposed to do? Be glad and rejoice. Hallelujah. Because God has made it that way. Church of the living God. Hallelujah. We got to see what God's trying to do. I'm, I'm almost done. Look what he said. He said, but many have afflicted me from my youth. Yeah. Many times have afflicted me, but they did what? They did not prevail against me. Yeah. So now God is not only promised to build me a house, God's not only promising me, amen, to establish me, but now he's telling me I'm going to be the one that got the victory. Amen. Yeah. Trying to help somebody. Amen. We're going up a little bit higher. 
Church, you got the victory. Amen. Somebody don't believe that. Amen. You got the victory. I won't say it again. You got the victory. It's all there. Somebody say, I got, I got the victory. Who has the victory in here? Wait at me like you got the victory. Now clap your hands and shout your rock and roll on the mic. I got the victory. He said right there that they will not prevail against me. Uh-huh. I'm trying to go a little bit higher. Let me say, out of this my soul, I cry. Amen. You have heard me that you should not mark the things that I've done wrong against me. Now he's not only set me free, but he's going to let me go. Amen. Aren't you glad you didn't let go? Come on, man. Aren't you glad you didn't let go? Yeah. Yeah. You got the blood of Jesus. Let you go, Lord. Thou Thou shouldest mark that queen, but, but who shall stand? He said, praise God, let the ear be attempt to the voice of my supplications, if thou, Lord, should have marked my iniquity. But the next verse says right there that God forgives our iniquities. Yeah, yeah. I didn't put it up there, but I'm going to let you know, praise the Lord, church, you got away. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all just not happy. Yeah. 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 I, I got away. Woo! Lord, my mind goes down memory lane. I said, Lord Jesus, I got away. Anybody else got away? Has yeah. anybody got away from the devil? Yeah. When the devil tried to take you out, yeah. you got away. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. What he said? Amen. My heart, amen, praise God, is not hearty and my eyes not lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters. My face behind me surely. I have to say myself quiet myself as a child that is weaned of mother. My soul shall even be weaned of child. God has promised to care for me as my mother and my father. The Bible said, when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord shall pick me up and hold me. Praise God. John, the beloved, laying in the bosom of Jesus. Amen. As his own father, God said, hallelujah, I hold you in the palm of my hand and no man shall be able to pluck you out. Now, God has promised to hold us. Amen. As dear children, he promised, amen, to be my mother and my father, my sister and my brother. He promised to be my all in all. Anybody glad about it? Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. Lord, remember David and his promises. What did he do to David? He took David from nothing and made him king. God took you from nothing and made you a child of God. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Then he said, oh, oh. Then at the last one, he said, oh, how good it is for us to what? To be all here together. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus. Unity yes. of the spirit in the bonds of peace yes. is what tells you that you made it to another level. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to help somebody. Amen. When you get, that's why the devil fights unity so much. Right. Because he understands that every, when you get unified, at a level, Hallelujah. then you're already ready to establish and build to the next level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That man that laid that concrete, when they get that concrete out there, they only have a certain amount of time for where that concrete sets up. And if that concrete don't set up right, guess what? They got to break it all up and start all over again. But once if that concrete sets right, guess what? They can build another level on top of it. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. See, the enemy trying to keep you as unstable as water. Mm-hmm. He tried to keep so much stuff going on in your life that you can't build nothing. Mm-hmm. Because, amen, you can't get that sure, solid level of where you are so, so, so God can't take you to the next level. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is trying to help us today that, amen, through this thing that's going on right now, he is, amen, causing us to settle in him. Because there is a next coming on in our lives. There will be a next coming, and we have to be ready for the next. Look, he says, bless be the Lord. Bless, and he start blessing everybody. Amen. Amen. I need a blessing from the Lord right now. Anybody have to bless the Lord? Amen. Don't say, Lord, anyway, you bless me. You bless me. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Lord, I need a blessing right now. Lord, pour out your blessing on me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, pour out everything you got for me. Amen. Lord, do it for me. Amen. Church of the living God. Lord, reveal. This is how God reveals himself to us. The Lord, praise God, wants us to know. Amen. Praise God. This is from last week, but I put it up here anyway. Amen. It says, look, the vessel was marred in the, as clay and marred in the hand of the potter. 
So he made it again, another vessel. This is how God makes you over again. Last week and this week is really one message, praise God. He wants you to know, praise the Lord, that you got to get our higher in him. Yeah. Amen. Though the serpent, amen, amen, is a snake, and though it goes and it is cursed, amen, on his belly, it can show us something, amen, in the midst of his development. Every time it gets, amen, a little bigger, yeah. it sheds, it sheds its outer skin, amen, because it's time for him to go on to the next place. Uh, church of the living God, it's time for us to shed where we are and move on into the new things of God. Yeah. Amen. It's time for us to shed where we are and move into the the new promises of God yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. It's time, church, for you, amen, to get free from where God, amen, or where it is trying to hold you and say, Lord, amen, I'm ready to go to the new place. Anybody ready to go to the new place of yeah. God? Amen. Anybody ready to go where God's ready to take you? Yeah. New ministry. Hallelujah. New purpose. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. New function. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. God is getting ready to do it in this time yeah. because this is the time that ministry is needed more than ever yeah. Before. Amen. amen. More, amen. more than even before right now. Amen. 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 Praise God. The ministry of just being nice amen. to people. Amen. The ministry of just putting a smile on your face. Uh, the ministry, amen, just being kind. Uh, amen. The ministry of just being loving. Uh, amen. The ministry of just having a sweet word. A word fitly spoken. I'm like apples of gold amen. and pictures of silver. God is trying to challenge the church. Amen. Let's take back what the enemy is trying to steal amen. from us and be the church triumphant. Be the church of the living God. Be what God called us to be. Huh? Yeah. Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. Huh? Lord, reveal yourself unto me. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, reveal yourself unto me. This is how we do it, church. We do it by holding on to God. Yeah. We do it by going to the next step. And God's going to, I, I speak this over the comment, God is going to begin to revelate some things in your hearts and minds. And show you. Yes, God. I, I said, Lord, we just talked about this a few months ago. Lord, show, show us the way and things we must do. Yes. Lord, reveal yourself unto me. Yes. Let me know what's going on right now. Amen. Let us stand, Father. Church, let us stand. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I hear a song in my spirit. And it says, Lord, prepare me. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Let's say it one more time. Lord, prepare. He's preparing us. To be a sanctuary, the place where God dwells, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a
Lord, you show us the way, the thing we must do. That we're marred in the hand of, your, of you, the potter. Lord, make us over again. Make me over again. Do it again one more time, Lord. As you bless the congregations with us, strengthen them, O oh God. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you wash away all faults, wash away all sins with your blood. Let someone say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? And Father, we give you praise. And we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Give our Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for you today. By prayer, you come. Additional is okay. God knows. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. You can see it. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Bless you, God keep you. We'll see you next week in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Come on, church. Come on, clap your hands. Shout out.